Good morning, YouTube. Today, we are doing the groceries. If you missed the last video, go check it out. Uh, that was from yesterday. So today is a new video. Gonna get groceries, go to the dog park, do some homework and some work with the podcast, and go to the gym. So busy day ahead, lot to do. Only one day left of the weekend. This is probably one of the easiest healthy meals uh, for you know your fitness and nutrition goals that there is. I'm just making this in the crock pot. Got it set for 10 hours. And all it is is chicken breast with a bunch of salsa over the top. When it's done, you add some cream cheese on it. Easy, easy dinner. Put that over some rice. It's delicious and pretty good uh, macros too. Lots of protein. Ready for the gym, so I'm going to show uh, how I'm making my homemade pre-workout. So I have just a normal water bottle right here with a homemade funnel. Here is uh, three grams of beta alanine. That goes in. Five grams citrulline malate. Being all broken bad, breaking bad over here, only spilling everything. Most of that got in. Five grams of creatine. And then 200 milligrams of caffeine. We'll see how this works, what my conclusions are. I'm also putting in one of these flavor packets. This is kiwi strawberry, the size for like a water bottle. I know, however, I need to invest in a funnel. Look at that, everywhere.
So I'm about three quarter away done with my homemade pre-workout. Tastes good, that water bottle flavor packet really takes out any bad taste that those plain unflavored powders will have. So a lot of times like unflavored beta alanine or BCAAs or something will taste really sour, really unpleasant. So that flavor pack is a game changer uh, just to make the water taste good with all those other ingredients in there. Today's workout, like I said, is an upper body hypertrophy day. On upper body hypertrophy days, I really kind of stay away from barbell lifts. So on like push strength or pull strength, you know, I'll do deadlifts, bench press, overhead press, all with barbells uh, just to get strength up in those. But on upper body hypertrophy days, most of the time I'll use body weight or I'll use bands. Uh, sometimes I'll use um, dumbbells also. So I like to use those ones just because you can get a greater range of motion. It's more easy on your joints. What this fourth day is, because I already had push-pull legs all for strength, this day is supposed to be easy on the joints, but you get the muscular work still. So higher reps, um, kind of more pump kind of work, um, and then using tools like dumbbells, kettlebells, body weight, and bands, because those allow for you know, more freedom in your range of motion, where you're positioning your joints. Uh, you can go, like if you're doing a dumbbell flat bench press, go a little deeper in that bench press and, you know, just pushing that range of motion, improving rep quality. That's why I like to do a whole day as hypertrophy day. Finished up at the gym. I did, like I said, an upper body hypertrophy workout. Didn't really film. I'm the kind of guy that in the gym, I like to just like, get my workout done so I don't like when people talk to me a ton and filming kind of takes a lot more time in the workout and it kind of ruins the groove of the workout so I just did some normal exercises I did dumbbell bench press I did curls skull crushers and I did uh, some a seated row and a pull-up so just a lot of reps and a lot of volume with that now that I'm done at the gym, went back, had a scoop of protein, and before dinner, we're gonna take the dogs to the park quick to let them get out some energy. And then as grocery shopping time, we will get it done today. I caved. We're grabbing a bite to eat uh, before we go to the store. This is that salsa chicken I showed you this morning that I put in. Under here uh, is some rice, right there. White rice, salsa chicken, all shredded up. Here's the pot of it. Looks like we'll have a bunch of leftovers for this upcoming week. Today, gonna head to bed. Wife's watching the Oscars. Bentley's enjoying Piper's new bed. Piper doesn't look too uncomfortable herself. <laughs> 